Good morning everyone, my name is Zain Honkeza Barona. I'm 16 years old and we are part of the Kimari Prep School, which is a program that prepares ourselves to the American University. Currently, we are 12 tennis players working to achieve our goal. Besides that, we participate in the internet since March 2020. And now we are going to talk about the Amazon situation. Hope you guys enjoy it. The Amazon is considered the region with the greatest biodiversity in the planet. It is also the largest nature reserve in the world. It is the largest tropical forest in the world with a total of 5.5 million kilometers in extension. More than a half of its vegetation, 61% is found in Brazilian territory. The Amazon forest has approximately 30,000 species of plants and 2,500 species of large trees. Its vegetation is divided into three, Terra Firme Forest, Igapó Forest, Várzea Forest. The animal life found in Amazon rainforest is very diverse. There are many types of reptiles and amphibians, and a wide variety of fish, home to 85% of South American species. In addition to several species of other aquatic and terrestrial mammals, insects and birds, such as jaguars, tokens and macaws. Fires in the Amazon originated in the economic practices developed in the region. It began in the 1930s with agribusiness and agriculture being the main motivating areas of fires. The fires in Amazon started with the advance of the National Farms Border. Some governmental policies contributed to this process. An important one was the March to the West in 1930, which contributed to increase the population in the North and Central West region, founding new cities, opening new roads and bringing economic development to these regions, which ended up fermenting the practice of fires. In 1956, the new government launched a plan that contributed to the first step to the county industrialization. In 1967, Manaus Industrial Headquarters was created, bringing a remarkable impact to the Amazon region, considering the region counts on a wide variety of available resources. Much of the environment devastation that has occurred in the forest is caused by fires. The consequence of fires in the Amazon might vary from the aspects of the natural environment and plant turbulence as well. Some immediate consequences are erosion and ground worsening, elimination of local biodiversity, circulation of superficial water decrease, change in temperature and humidity, and the presence of water vapor in the atmosphere, causing less rain. Emission of polluting gases contribute to global warming and greenhouse effect, global climate change, and respiratory disease. The Amazon rainforest is daily monitored by satellites and the National Institute for Space Research helps fighting the fire focus. The graphic shows us an intense and disparate situation. Here is the graphic on forest per year at the North region. The graphic show show any intensive increase of Amazon forests from the beginning of the 31th century, with more than 100,000 fire focus in 2002 and doubled this number two years later. In 2005, there was a peak in numbers of fires, which meant 160,000 focus in the rainforest. In 2010, the number were also scaring with more than 130,000 focus in the region. But in 2011, a balance in this number starts to happen. The fires in the legal Amazon were at an average of 50,000 per year. The main products coming from the Amazon forests are acai, cashew, buriti, sour soup, and among others. Some products taken from the forest are used to raw materials for medicine and beauty materials, while other products as acai have been used in domestic market to make ice cream and exports to Europe as well. Our actions increasingly interfere in the Amazon. Economic forces, market forces and the advent of infrastructure have caused major impact on the forest areas. Economic development often overlaps with other concerns, such as the environment. 
The future of the Amazon may depend on a third development path based on technological innovation, basic knowledge and biological diversity. This project is based on building some sites in the forest to be used as research centers, like it has been done in Silicon Valley, California. In recent years, the forest has suffered major fires and deforestation, which can break its environmental balance with no turning back. To help to save the Amazon, it is important to be updated with its history and latest news so that we can act. There are some helpful actions to start making a difference. Tree plantation, consumption, awareness and deforestation reduction are just a few tips you can do to help, besides searching and reposting secure data as well.